Silo at Age is a fabulous project that was founded in Denmark by Oli Kassau and Dr Peterson in 2012 and it was developed to allow people with limited mobility to enjoy the experience of cycling. Without doubt it's ending social isolation for a lot of people, it's ending a degree of boredom in, a, in activity in, in some sort of care settings. I mean these people who are using this can't go out on a long walk anymore but they can go on the bike ridden by pilots who are all volunteers, it's always free and it just brings a huge amount of joy to these people so it's really ending social isolation, it's a social tool but it's bringing an amazing amount of joy to people's lives. Uh, well it's good for the communities because it's, you can't really put a, put a label on it, it just makes everyone so happy. The minute you come down the streets with the bikes, um, people are just buzzing to see you. The kids want to stop and speak to the people on the bikes. Uh, if there's a dog passing by, the dogs love to see it, they're all bouncing up at the, the people they just want to see. Everyone just wants to come and say hello and see how you're doing. It was something that immediately uh, triggered off for me because I had been in the retirement home for a year and people were not mixing. They were just going down for meals and go back in the flat. And I thought it would be good to get something to get them involved. It's also mixing the old people with the young people. So it's getting people out and it's getting them used to that they, they are part of the community and not forgot about. That's my satisfaction in the sight of that age, is seeing the faces change and the attitudes change of the older people. With the, the success of our crowdfunder, it seemed to make people um, who were external to the project sit up and listen about the project a lot more. Um, we're now a hugely successful government-funded organisation as an overarching body in the whole of Scotland. And we're absolutely sure that that's down to the success of the promotion that we got with the project and the, partly the success of the crowdfunding campaign that we did because it really made the, our local government and central government in Scotland wake up to the fact that this is something that people really want to happen and they want to do it for themselves.